Hello and welcome guys to another Greatest Legacy Fist video. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Spectre Arm RR SA E14 Edge. Let's open up and have a look. Alright guys, so I've gone for the tan version here, which I believe on this site retails around 220. Not too bad. Let's have a look what comes in here. Alright, so you got the user manual, basic stuff telling you how to set up, how to use the systems, how to set the hop up, magazines. So, okay, so this is a sun, so I ordered separate with it. I think that was around 20 pounds, I think. So let's get the gun out and have a quick look. Oh, and it's heavy, but it does feel quite nice. I believe it. it's mainly made of steel polymer. It's not a bad weight. Pretty decent weight. You can see there, it's two modes only semi, full auto, and back to safe. It's not ambidextrous though, which is a bit of pain because I'm a lefty. The mag release, it looks like it's only got the mag release on the right hand side. Let's say. Winding hop up unit. It's not too bad. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. That's not staying up. Got the flip up front sight there, and the flip up rear sight. Gotta be careful because that does flip up pretty quick. You don't want to catch your finger on that. A little bit, just flip it back down there like that. Oh. Alright, so what else we got in here? Comes with two mags, these look like mid cap mags, I believe. Let's just see how many rounds it carry. I think on the side these were 200, maybe 250. Else can carry in there. Got a full grip on here, which I'm not too sure that clips on. How's that gone? Okay, yeah, I've got no idea how that gets on. I don't think it goes there. I'll have to figure that out later and leave that. If you guys know how to attach that, let me know. Okay. You got Dean's to. Oh, what type of connection is this? It's the mini Tamu, isn't it? Let me have a look. What type of connector is this? Oh yeah, Dean's to tell me you have many connection. Believe this comes with a built-in MOSFET. Believe it's one of their own. Let me just look up what type of MOSFET it is for you guys. Okay, yeah. So the MOSFET is a GateX ASR MOSFET there for you. Nice feeling. What else have we got in here? Let's have a look at the dimensions for you guys quick. Right, so the length is around 800 to 885 meters. 
boy. It actually feels lighter than that. It says it's 2,630 grams. It honestly feels not that bad. It does feel sturdy, but compared to the other guns I've had, it still feels quite nice. Alright. So let's have a look. So I believe to get to the battery unit, you've got to push these two in. Take that out. Yeah, it's got a little cover there. Take that out. And you can see the MOSFET there. Plug in the adapter. That's not the right way, that's the right way. No, it's still not the right way. Oh, it was the right way first time. There we go, that's in. Let's grab my batteries. This definitely won't fit, but just can see how it connects. You get an indicator there. See that battery's all good. Let's put that all back together. Take that out, leave that back out. Put that in there. Ah, oh, give me a shot. Shot me a little bit of that. Fit that back in, put this little cover bit over. back on there we go I'll put it back on oh yeah so yeah it's a rotary style hop up that's what I meant to say before you can adjust it by just turn it that way or turn it down like that you want to adjust it. I will be doing a range test with this later on in another video, so make sure you're subscribed to the notifications. To see that. I've heard good things about the range on this gun, guys. Some of my mates got the previous versions, they got the Edge 13 version, and they're saying they get some mad range like 80 to 90 meters. I think one of them even said they hit 100 meters before. Which for an AG guys, that is insane distance. I mean, some snipers can't even reach that distance, and they're saying they're easily outranging snipers. Uh, sight. Okay, miss. Unbox this silencer for you. It's a nice silencer. <laughs> yeah, I bought this silencer just because I love the message. It says, "Caution, stay 100 meters back." Or you will be shot. Oh, that's a brilliant message there. Uh, let's see if I can actually fit the science on and see what it looks like when it's put it on. Let's make sure it's got to take this adapter off, unscrew this. That's tight, isn't it? See, you left it see. okay. Me being dumb, it's a anti clockwise thread. Right, let's change that. Let's put this silencer on. Does look me. Look at that. Alright, let's put the battery back in. Let's do dry fire and a full auto to see what the response is like. 
Let's take that out. Let's put this back in. Then so it's turned to semi. Ooh. Okay, yeah, it got a red light indicator there, so that battery has just died on me, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, it's a dead battery. I'll just grab my other ones. Can still help. Green lights there, so I hope this one should work. So that's on the semi. This one's bad, and this is on four. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Nice trigger response there. Let's pull that back too far for it to fire. Let's take that back out. All in all, this is a nice gun, guys. It feels good, feels very solid. I think full of it said the Fire is about 26 BBs per second, it's not too bad. Honestly, I can't wait to test this out on the field, guys, and see what I can reach with it and what I can hit. I think it's going to be amazing. And yeah, you've got these nice med caps. The good thing about these med caps is the BBs don't rattle around and I play stealthy guys. Oh, I like the look at this. It's nice. It's got a bit of test grip there, which is quite a nice feel to it. it slots in really, really easily. The only issue is, kind of no, there's no mag release on that side. Watch it, so I'm going to have to take it out by hand. It's not ambidextrous mag release. Other than that, this looks like a real solid gun. So yeah, if you guys want to buy this gun, I will be doing a range test on it, like I said, later, so make sure you subscribe to the notifications for that. And I'll also leave a link to the website where I got this gun from. In case you guys want to order it. That. Okay, well, wait for me. There's a nice little fit in there, things in the nice. Let me know. Bye bye.